So, um, hello and welcome. Uh, it is time for a little art haul. Now, just to keep things clear, I'm recording this video early, so, um, my hair may change or be different, um, there may be a different setup around me, things like that. Um, and just be aware that, um, recording things uh, I'm trying to record what I can early so I can set up what I can early and that way I can uh, take some of the pressure off of having to record something of the day of um, <clears throat> as I'm recording it early and I like to move things around in my schedule I also will probably not be sharing the date when it's a video that I'm not sure exactly what day it's gonna go up so just keep um, an ear out for that in the future well, it's Tuesday, <laughs> regardless of the date, it's Tuesday, and um, honestly, I decided I'm going to put this one up sooner than I thought I was going to, this was supposed to go up in like March, and I'm thinking I want to put it up now, so, let's see what freaking day it is, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's the 19th, yay, so it's the 19th, it's Tuesday the 19th of November, we're still in 2019, watching it slowly march past. And it is time for a little art haul. So just a little background. When I do art hauls, I like to share something up for my business. Um, sometimes it's an art haul. Sometimes it's an intuitive haul. Sometimes it is a fizz haul where it's just something in general. And every now and then I get some happy mail. But most of the time it is an art haul because I focus a lot of my energy on my art and in my creative practices um, as opposed to like other things. So... Um, i like to share this with you. Um, these can give you ideas of things that you might need or want for your creative practice. Um, something that I found helpful that you might now find helpful. This can also be a way to, you know, um, kind of ask me about something that I've got. So um, feel free to, in the comments below, drop in and say, hey, you know, how do you like this? What do you, what do you think? Stuff like this. This is not a review this is just kind of an announcement um, and I will be adding reviews as I get around to them I have yet to post a review as well it's been a while since I posted a review period and I haven't posted one on patreon at all but that will be something that will come and um, regardless of anything things like reviews anything that um, originates from a blog post and is a cross post is going to be public so good thing is hey you'll still see it no matter what um, so here you go what I got, it is called a Wee Bra Bag, B-R-A-W. Um, I don't know the story of the bag, but I I found out this I found out about the bag via a hashtag on Instagram, and it seems it's a specific pattern. I don't actually know the pattern maker. Um, I'll look all that up and put it in the description box below because I did not think about the fact that somebody might want to know <laughs> ahead of time. Because of course I didn't. So hey, let's um. Let's do this. Make a note. See if I can find it. Um, and I'll show you the hashtag. They're so freaking cute. And honestly, um, what I find is uh, what really kind of makes a sewing project is uh, a good fabric so that that's that's a, that's a whole ass thing um a really pretty pattern and a really ugly fabric is not that great a really shitty pattern and a really great fabric is not that great so it's really best when you can get a really good pattern and a really good fabric and it's like oh my god i'm a dork so yeah so, um, I got it from two bags from Stitches on Etsy. Um, I've linked that below. And the why is, like I said, I have saw the um, hashtag just kind of scrolling through um, Instagram. Because I'll go through the search function and I'll just scroll and look at new stuff. Um, and I love bags. I don't really like bags. Um, because bags can be both attractive, like pretty, and just utilitarian right they don't have to be you know simple and boring um, and even if they are they're still functional I do love some olive drab 
though. Well, I will say that. So, uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Well, I knew eventually I wanted to make one. Um, I haven't gotten around to it. Mostly because my bag making skills are not on point yet. I need to, I feel I need to practice with some really simple bags first. Like a tote where it's basically a rectangle that's seamed and has a handle. Um, like a really simple tote. No, no gusset, no nothing. Um, not even reinforcing. Just the simple concept. Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I know you're probably like, what do you mean you're back? You were just here a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, I actually had a meet up. I had a meeting to get to, so I am not terribly sure where I was, but I'm just going to jump in wherever I feel like. So if I've said this already, oh, my bad, my bad, shit happens, but um, I got the bag, I got it from Etsy, I got the link to the store below. Um, I'm also going to see if I can find the pattern. So if you like the bag pattern and you don't want to buy one, but you would like to make one of your own, you can do that. No promises because I don't actually know where it comes from. So I'm going to make it an attempt to find it, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, let's see da -da -da, where I found it. Uh, now, as far as what I've done with it, as of this recording, I haven't done anything with it. In fact, where's that bag anyway? I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. Ha ha. Um, it is still in the cellophane wrapping right now. Um, mostly because leaving it in the wrapping was kind of a reminder to me that, oh, hey, you, you haven't, you haven't shared the set, so you might want to get on that so I can use it. Because what ends up happening is when I use it, then it's, it's I can't open it, I can't, you know, show you all the sides, God forbid something happened to it, stuff like that. So I like to uh, keep it pristine until I've shared it, so at least I have a chance to do that. Um, and it's, this is going to be one of my project bags, probably. Um, I feel like it's the perfect size for something small, so like socks, maybe hats, um, mittens or arm warmers or something like that. Anything just really small. I would say scarf or larger is going to be too big um, to fit in this because I like to have all of the yarn, all of the tools, and the pattern printed in like a little booklet form in my project bag so that everything is accessible and I don't have to wonder, oh, did I, do I have everything I need or depend on my phone or something like that. And I think because this is such a happy print, I'm going to make um, this my, one of my travel bags because it's just so cute. And I will tell you what, the balloon animals are what made me buy this bag. Because balloon animals, the balloon animals? I'm like, I know balloon animals. I don't know. They're just, I don't know why I like balloon animals. They're just silly. Uh, so uh, if you want to see like a real good picture of this front and back, you can scroll into the post below. If you're watching this on YouTube, for example, I'm going to have a link right at the top of the description that will send you over to the Patreon post. Um, because this is getting posted sooner than later, um, this post should be public and you should be able to see it. Um, but be aware that that may not uh, continue to be the case going forward. I don't know when I'm going to change it. I'm trying to do a little experiment, really. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much. What I would love to hear from you is what's the last thing that you bought for your art or your creative practices? Um, you can drop a comment below this video. Um, I read all of them and reply as needed. And um, don't forget to check out the links to the Etsy store, the pattern if I can find it, and as well as the hashtag for Weed Bra Bag, which I'm gonna I'm gonna link that on um, in the bottom too, because then you can see all the cool bags, and then I can convert you to wanting one because they're so cute. <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm looking at my notes. Make sure I didn't forget anything. If you like this video and you know somebody else who will, you can send them over to my Patreon or YouTube um, for the ones that are public. Um, remember that you can find my work at Aradius Hand and Denise Divine. Those are both linked below, and all of my active social media are also linked below. Um, 
which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Instagram, I like to hang out on the most uh, because Instagram, pretty much. So, uh, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is a Wednesday, which means it is, I think it's a, let's see. Yeah, it's a work in progress Wednesday. We're gonna, we're gonna share what we're working on. Um, at this point, I don't know what that's gonna be. I've got several projects, so I'm, I'm kinda, I'm gonna work on what I feel like working on this week. Um, because I'm recording this video before Monday, I haven't made that decision what that's going to be. But I do have a shrug that is a gift, and I have a basket that is a, a test that I'm actively working on, as well as all the other things that are on my queue. I just finished that damn sweater last week. Um, so I am... I got a block it, so technically it's not actually done, but I it's in timeout right now because I don't want to look at it. Pretty much. I'm mad at it. That's it. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sharing in my joy with this. Um, and you can look out for my Instagram. You will probably see this bag out in the wild. Um, and I hope that it was helpful, that you enjoyed it, and that you found something useful. So, until tomorrow, where we do our little what's work in progress uh, and slash what's up Wednesday, uh, have a good night. Bye.